I will be giving away five exclusive Battle Ram banners. So all you got to do is like, subscribe, and comment down below what is your favorite deck to use right now. We're about 200 medals away from getting a top 1,000 finish. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to stay the same for the rest of the season. Probably not. We're probably going to have to keep pushing higher than around 2,700. But at least that's a good goal to creep towards tonight. Not sure if we're going to get it. Okay, he uses log and delivery. Let's see if we can get something going here. I'm going to zap this. We got some skeletons on the tower. We're taking out this cannon. Really solid tower damage right now. Very, very happy with that. Now, since his cannon is out of cycle, and he kind of doesn't have that fast of a cycle, I think we can go Night Witch and then Golem at the bridge. And if he does something on the right, I might have to ignore it. But with the cycle that we got going right now, should be able to kind of punish him. Now, he might be able to cycle back in time, but I don't think... Uh, I don't... I don't think it's a bad move with what I did there. I had the right idea. I was kind of hoping he had a heavier cycle deck. I've been playing against recruits piggies, so I was kind of hoping it wasn't that. Can't do much. I'm just going to go fisherman in the back. Get ready for a skeleton king. Okay, it goes piggies on the right. What is fisherman doing? How did he even see that? How did how did he see that? What what's going on, bro? Just going to avoid this. I zap that. Get rid of your Evo. Get out of here. Fisherman on the tower. Not bad. Not bad. Solid damage by fisherman. Okay, a minute left here. Just gonna go with a night witch on the right. For defense. And I'm just going to go golem. I'm not sh Okay, that's why. We're going to arrow this. If that's the case. We should be okay. Now, I'm going to go Skeleton King opposite lane in case he does that again. Because, you know, he's probably going to. Uh, let's Evo Zap this cannon and get this other stuff out of here. I'm going to go Void on top of that. Let's go Wizard behind this i'm just gonna pop skeleton king ability he's got to go with a poison wizard is still alive here wizard is just tanking everything wizard on the tower golem on the tower bro has little to no time to be defending this tower right now if we just go void and arrows that's going to be ggs let's go so you guys probably have noticed already that i'm using void instead of lightning just for a cheaper cycle, uh, and honestly, I looked at API, and it was just showing that the deck I was using with Void was way better than Lightning. Even though I was having a lot of success with Lightning, I think Void is just going to help us out with our cycle, and just, if we're more efficient with that, and get some good placements, I think overall, Void will be better. But I do think Lightning in certain matchups is just uh, a lot better. That's why I do prefer it, but... I'll sacrifice it if if the stats sh say that I have a 68% win rate, I'll go with it. Okay, he has Tombstone, which is not fun. Um, it's whatever. We'll be okay. Alright, we will arrow this though. Kind of late-ish. Okay, it does take it out. Almost. We'll just go Wizard here. And Skeleton King. Which should be fine. Yeah, we, we don't take that much damage. Let's just void this Phoenix. Now, I did beat a E-Giant matchup earlier. It was a really close game, but I felt like I had control the entire time. Um, taking that early damage does suck. But... And it, like, he has Tombstone, too. He honestly could have Fisherman as well. I've seen... But the thing is, he's got Drill. He's got Evo Drill. So maybe he doesn't have a building. If that's the case. I'm just gonna arrow that. 
Oh, I'm lying. Why, why did I say he didn't have a building? He clearly has Tombstone. Anyways. <laughs> um, I think we'll get a split push going here with Skeleton King. Oh, yeah. This should be pretty good. Golem's going to hit this. I'm going to zap. Skeleton King go on his own way. Let's get Fisherman here. Oh, he NATO's my Fisherman just in time. He has Bar Barrel, but is this enough to deal with it all? It is. He does have to force out a Evo Bomber, which is really interesting why he would do that. Um, I'm going to get my Wizard for this drill. He wastes his Evo Bomber, which I'm still kind of baffled by. I'm going to go Night Witch Opsilane. Let's go Void. Honestly, not a bad Void. Not a bad Void to deal with this Tombstone. The goal was to take out the Phoenix, but I'll I'll deal with that. Uh, let's go Wizard this lane here. Let's pop Skeleton King ability. Let's get something going. Oh, Wizard's on the tower. Wizard. Wizard. I love you, Wizard. I love you. Alright, let's go Golem. There's no way we lose. I'm just going to arrow this. And then we're going to avoid the tombstone. There's literally no way we lose. Alright, let's 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 just Evo zap this. I'm going to get Evo Wizard here too. As long as Golemite gets there, that should be pretty much GG's. We can just spell cycle. Arrows does take that out. And Wizard got actually one health. Anyways... GG's, let's go. Alright guys, we got Star Lewis. He's got two stars in his name. Interesting. Anyways, Zap first play. Never can go wrong with that. I mean, you can, really. If they have, like, Skarmy or something, but... Majority of the time, no one runs Skarmy. Um, and our opponent is doing nothing, which benefits us, but can also be very threatening. So if he has like Graveyard or another Golem deck, it is kind of bad that we're waiting. So I might just Void to kind of deal with it. Um, see if he does anything about it. If not, we got some free tower damage. Still nothing. I'm going to go Wizard. Keep cy cycling my Evos. Maybe he's AFK. Alright, Infernal Dragon. This could be this could be mega knight it could be lava hound it could be a lot of things so i'm just gonna go night witch because him using inferno dragon not really good on his part we're gonna go golem hopefully this wizard gets up a little bit more nice all right fisherman hold this lumberjack and okay he freezes that's good that's good that's really good actually um, I'm gonna zap the wizard. Nightwitch should get on it. Let's go. Nightwitch get a hit on the tower. Let's go. Two hits on the tower. Fantastic. He's got some freeze deck. Is it, it must be Loon. Yep, here it is. He doesn't have freeze right now. Will this get a hit? It will because it's balloon and it always gets a hit. Even against Cannoneer, which... Whatever. Alright, I'm gonna void this bowler here. Nice. Skeleton King is gonna get on the tower here. That's huge. He has to NATO it back. Let's just get a Night Witch. A Golem at the bridge. We got Fisherman ready for anything else he's got. Alright. We're gonna go... Evo Zap and completely missed the Inferno Dragon. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, uh, that's a little unfortunate, guys. Wait, Wizard's on the tower. That's huge, bro. That's huge. Let's just go Arrows. I'm going to go Fisherman to pull this bowler. Alright, I'm just going to go Golem. If Golem gets there, I think we should be okay. I'm just gonna wait 
No way. No way. Fisherman, please. Alright, I think wizard up high is in a bad move. And also arrow. Alright, let's go. Let's go like this. Um, I will go golem. I will do it. I will zap. I will get wizard down. I will arrow all of this. I will get a void. Evo zap, please. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Oh my god, man. That's just that's just so annoying. That that is genuinely just so annoying to deal with. Alright, we got Duver. Good luck to you. It's got regular princess tower. We got zap ready. Just gonna zap. Goes with bomber. I will just cycle my Evos. Can't really go wrong with that, although. All right, uh, gonna go golem since he did that. If he goes with the building, we got void ready. He does easy void, easy money. Should be a ton of tower damage right here. Let's go with a fisherman for this E giant. I think we should activate the king tower here. I'm going to have to arrow this right here. We don't activate the King Tower. Um, yeah, that's that's cool. It's cool stuff right there. Cool beans. Um, just goes with another E-Giant in the back. Which I don't really think is a good play, but we'll see. Skeleton King. Then we'll get our wizard. Kind of space them out just a little bit. Let's get Void down on this Mother Witch. Very, very bad play there. Um, doesn't really get any value. Is Skeleton King going to get in front? He will. That's kind of funny. Uh, Alright. Not bad here. Now we're just going to go with Golem at the bridge. Kind of block his bomber, although my Nightwish is going to die. He's going to NATO it back to get a couple hits. But Fisherman does take that out. Let's just get arrows down. I think that'll deal with it. Let's also get Skeleton King for this knight. And... Let's just void. And... Okay. That could have been a lot worse. Honestly. So, pretty happy with what just happened there. He failed the NATO. That's huge, guys. That's absolutely huge right there. I'm going golem. He just lightning. He missed the wizard. He missed the wizard. I repeat, he missed the wizard. Let's just void this. Get Nightwish down. Let's Evo zap this. Let's get arrows too. Nightwish get on the tower. Let's go. Let's go. Tonight has been very challenging. I've been playing for about two hours straight. Trying to get something going. Some sort of rhythm. But I'm just stuck at the same trophy range. And if I lose this next game, I'm just going to take a break for the night. It's unfortunate that I'm not able to push up to, you know, where I want to be. But I just got to take what I can and just be happy with the fact that I'm, you know, still above where I finished last season. Even though I'm barely above where I was last season. Still got to be happy with progress. Progress is progress. And, you know, even if I did get into the tournament this year, I probably was not going to, you know, 
do much other than just participate. So uh, I'm I'm happy with you know how the season has went. I played really well, did my best. And that's all you can really ask for and do for yourself. So, uh, but you know, as I'm saying, like if I lose this game, I'm done. I, of course, just kind of clutch this out. So that's kind of funny. Skeleton King, right here, should counter this. Let's get Fisherman here for this other Goblin. And Night Witch is actually taking out majority of the tower, which we can just kind of spell cycle and three crown him. Or we can get a wizard down and get him. I'm going to do that. Let's see if we can get him here. Nice. Wizard's just on the tower. That's going to be GG's. Let's go. One thing you guys got to recognize is when you're on a kind of losing streak and you notice a pattern. So, um, so look at this. I started using this deck and I won two in a row. I was feeling pretty good about it. Then I lose this really close game to Lumberloom Freeze. And I lost 32 medals for that. And then next game, I won 29. That's not enough to cover my last loss. So I need to win this next one, which I lost. 31 medals lost. And then I won, only won 29 medals. And then I lost again, 31 medals. Even though I won a couple games here, I'm still in a negative trophy uh, deficit. And the pattern here, I can just tell that I'm just going to keep getting hard countered. I've been playing for a couple hours, so I'm going to take a break and come back tonight and stream the rest of my push. I'm going to probably just stream on TikTok tonight. Um, I have Twitch and YouTube um, stream set up, but I don't have everything set up as terms of like quality wise. And I just want to make sure that I get each stream, you know, its own, you know, good quality. So make sure you just come out, check my stream tonight. I really appreciate that.